Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Premier League show, brought to you today by Boohoo Man. Don't forget, you can get up to 10% off all of their active wear. All you've got to do is click the link in the description. We've got another competition that we're running as well, where you can win uh, this brilliant tracksuit, which is part of their active wear. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to give you the details of that competition a little bit later on. So make sure you keep watching. Um, of course, last week... Uh, we had the competition. You know, a little bit big up to that guy. His name was called... Don't say it on air, please. Uh, MC Bold. Right? MC Bold. He won the uh, competition last week. Um, we gave away uh, something from the Ultra Flex range. Remember, I asked the question, um, who was the man of the match? Oh, he sorry. said, Eddie and Ketia. That was who I did Eddie, give Eddie, the man, man of the match to. Um, his comment was also... Um, he has surely proved himself, and he's a man now on fire. Um, maybe you might want to revise that. He says, I predict that you'll pass uh, Spurs too. So I don't think he's an Arsenal fan, but he predicted that Arsenal would pass Spurs. Huh? That's not looking good. So and he says, as for Ty's mum, I think she supports Hartlepool FC. He's Hartlepool United. <laughs> so you're wrong already. He's Hartlepool United. Yeah, get angry for right, right, United. Chill yes. out. Chill out. So it's Hartlepool yes. United. He's Hartlepool United, so you're already wrong. Uh, last week we were asking, uh, of course, um, Ty Don't say had the, the revelation please. that his uh, mum supported a team other than Arsenal. <laughs> she does support Arsenal now, he said, and we were asking you which team that was. He's still not revealed. Uh, actually, I do know, but I'm yeah. not going to reveal it. Thank you. Right? Tottenham. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm only joking. He's yeah, not he's not. Fortunately, it's he's Tottenham. not. Fortunately, he's not. Well, no. anyway, listen. We are here today. I ain't had much sleep. I mean, I was oh, at the game last night in Newcastle. Yardy, um, I didn't get until five in the morning. Ty was late today. He was telling me he didn't get until half five this morning. Yeah, after that, yeah. Right. Before we start this show, let me just say something to you in particular. Go on. Go on. I don't want to hear no excuses uh, I'll say what about I think. last night. I don't want to hear no... There is no excuses for last night's performance... I've been hearing this word. You've seen our hands. Yeah, You've seen that, our you said, hands. You said a wrong yeah. word there, anyway. Yeah. Performance. Uh, well, there was no performance. Exactly. First of all, the Tottenham game, we lost that. All right. We've got another chance. It's still in our hands. Mm. And we go and throw it away again. As a matter of fact, when I look back at it, it was in our hands after the international break. Yeah. In mm. our hands. Mm. That was about eight games ago. We lost to Palace. We lost to Southampton. We lost to Brighton. Mm. Then we had a little rally. It's back in our hands again. Mm. We lose to Tottenham. It's still in our hands. And somehow, these men turned up last night. Newcastle looked like the team that was going for top four. I wouldn't say that. And Arsenal looked like the team that was on the beach, playing okay. like they couldn't be asked. That they had nothing to play Honestly, for. that was the worst performance of the season. How can yeah. that be a game? I mean, I know Granite Xhaka and Arteta and them lot are mad afterwards. Mm. No, I'm mad. Mm. And all those fans yeah, that travel up there are mad. And all the fans watching around the UK and around the world are mad at that performance. Yeah. And I think, you know, before I get to you guys, personally, I think this has been in the making since January. When we didn't strengthen this squad... We've been relying, I mean, um, a friend of mine sent me a text this morning and said, Robbie, Newcastle versus Arsenal last night was boys against men. No. And I said to him, I go, Definitely. basically, it's been boys against men all season mm -hmm. because we've got, out, we've got boys. But luckily for us, the boys have been outstanding. But now it's been a bridge too far. We didn't bring in top quality experienced players and we have paid the price. You saw last night, Gabriel, Ben White, probably, you know, they were in at the last minute, shouldn't have been playing. Tommy mm. Yasu came off. The mm. squad was absolutely threadbare. We're relying on the kids again. It's a bridge too far. They've run out of ideas. They've run out of energy. We were shocking last night. Terrible. And as I said, I don't want you to make no... I can't blame the ref or nothing like that for last night. I can. Not for what? last night. I can. He, he, he takes his share of the blame. 
He takes a shoulder blade no, because no, of... No, no, no. He takes a shoulder... He you know what? He yeah, takes a shoulder to, blade. You know what? Where <laughs> is it? Is it for me? Yeah? I'm done, man. I'm it's, so it's, serious. You say it's... it's the ref. Been, you say it's been in our hands, He takes yeah. his shoulder blade. Sure, Robbie, Robbie, you say it's been in our hands, but I don't know who for hand it in a car. It's never been in our hands. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it come like it's been in somebody else's hand who we don't even know. You know what this thing is, yeah? I'm not too upset. I am. You know why I'm not too upset? I'm going to explain to you. What happened yesterday proves we are not ready for Champions League. Regardless if he goes out and spends in the summer, we wouldn't be ready for Champions League. And it starts to make me start thinking. I, I actually looked at everything. Driving here, I was thinking about it. I start thinking like, we are slowly becoming, the, having the mentality of a small club. We are slowly becoming a club that has small men, a small club mentality. And I'll tell you why. When we lost to Crystal Palace, Brighton, and um, Southampton, yeah? We got excited by beating Chelsea, Man United, because they're big clubs. That's how small clubs are. They don't care. They, they will lose to the smaller clubs, but when they beat the big clubs, to them, that's like, yes, we beat you, we beat that one. And that's what we became. Like, we were looking at those two results and be like, yeah, man, we can do this. When really, realistically, we gave it our all in those games. Well, apart from Man United game, the, the Chelsea game, we played so good and we got the points. We should be beating the smaller teams. So last night shows that we're not at a level to go into Champions League. It could we lost have, every battle. Oh, we lost it could, every battle. In everything. That game. We didn't even. We did, listen. We didn't even have the ball for five minutes. I doubt. Like, I don't even know how, how long we even touched the ball for. Nothing worked. We probably saved ourselves embarrassment next season going without Champions League. If look, it's still possible. Ty will tell us it's still possible. There is a you very slim well. chance, not, but I'm not hoping. Possible. I'm not hoping on that because. Done. Dumb. You Dumb. remember them Dumb. nights when Bayern Munich, we would go away to Bayern Munich and get battered? You can imagine this squad going away to PSG, Juventus, Bayern, and, and we're going to hope we get to what? I don't want our team to hope we're getting somewhere. I want our team to be in a, in a position where we can say, no, we can challenge. When I look at Liverpool... No, but if, we, if we don't hurry up and get to that spot, right? I mean, you look at even Newcastle. That we played last night, of right? Of course, Newcastle the got they, the money now. And the way they summer. bossed us, and, and and Matty from the Magpie Channel, right? Who I interviewed on, um, last night. Well, um, Cecil interviewed him, and he said that he said, "You know what? If that is the top four level, they will get goes, in. They well, will we're get not in. even that far off it now. No, without no, even spending the big money. They're hundred miles off it. They will get in. Hundred miles off it. Uh, uh, they just battered us. Uh, uh, hundred miles off it. years without a trophy says that you shouldn't even be speaking. You should be doing your homework and thinking, how do you, you've 55 years. So let's put that into perspective. That's three years before I was born, and now I'm 52. The coach so 55 money years says you shouldn't even be speaking. You should be happy that you got the money. Just be quiet and achieve something. You shouldn't even be talking. You shouldn't be at the table. You should, if, if you can't- Tell me, tell me yeah. what your excuses for last night now. What excuses? There's no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, okay. Okay. I'm not saying excuses, but what I will say is that the referee, has his pot, has his share of the blame. Shut up, no, no, why are you telling me to shut up, Robbie? No, no. The referee had to take his part of the blame. Oh, no, my no, God. No, 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 no. The referee no, had referee nothing to. What, no, what did the referee do? He tell takes me. his tell share me. of why, the blame. Why, in why, the why, why? In the fact that, why? as usual, in like every game, when, when, when um, Newcastle, well, it's not, when Newcastle and Tottenham happen, Players are, um, players are kicking our players down and not getting your yellow cards. As soon as we do it, yellow cards. There was one time when Eddie was through on goal. <coughs> he got kicked down. The referee paid that once. He didn't bring it back. Do you remember that? That's what I'm saying. So, obviously, I'm not, we can't take, he can't take the blame for our defeat, but he can take the blame for, once again, not booking players when he's supposed to. <laughs> he can take the blame. This is why. This is why. This is why. This is why we end up being where we are. <laughs> what are you talking right. about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, really? what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about you. Yeah, go on. as go on usual, <laughs> making excuses and not saying it as it is. Yeah. You can say it as on, even Granite Xhaka, who plays for the yeah. team, yeah. came out last night said and what? said no excuses. Yeah. And basically, if man ain't up for it, they shouldn't even come. Did you hear him? Yeah. Why you? Why can't you just admit? But we yeah, were but, rubbish. Stop but, blaming the but, referee. But, but, hold on. So, Listen, so stop blaming the referee. Stop blaming the referee. Stop blaming people. He should yeah. be calling out the players, then. No, you know why, yeah? You he should know be calling out the players. Why? Watch that Did game, anyone, yeah. hold, hold on, did Go anyone on. call him out when he done his foolishness? Did you hear any of the players saying that? You can't act like that. He didn't call out individual players, no, but, but he called out the team. Yeah. And yeah, he said, right, that we 
did not. Yeah, that is a game, a must win game. Yeah. Mm. And we played like the team on the beach. And if you ain't got the bars to play for it, then don't be. Tell here. me, what, what, what were the know, big attacks? Uh, when, when did Debravka, their keeper, have anything you to know even what? do? You, you said something there. What as did well. he have to do in the no, game? Ty, time, he said, time. you know, you know, Xhaka said something there, which is very key. I watched that. And, I, and, and at first, I see people say why Xhaka said it. But when I listen back to what he said, he actually said, playing like this, we don't deserve to be in Champions League. Don't, don't. Not only that, he said, we did nothing what the coach asked us to do. Which is interesting. Now that's something And when that I look I at when I after after listening to him and then going back to the game, when I just looked back at the team, they looked lost. They no, looked like, you, you, no, well, there, was no there was no leaders out there grabbing there was no one. I don't understand what you're talking about. It was because it was the referee's fault. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I never I never said that. I said the referee's got to take his share. Stop, listen, yeah. cut this out now, man. Stop. <laughs> out, Robbie. You need to stop. I'll say what the I think. Newcastle's fans fought really, isn't it? They were fans too loud. Who? They were who? too loud. The fire, the, I, I, all I saw is display. That's all. I, all I saw is a fantastic display. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all I saw. It was like go, it was. It was like going into a morgue. No disrespect. <laughs> I, I, no, I it saw wasn't display. going into a morgue. It was loud. It was, there. Was, was, was it like, You know what? For for one bit, we quietened it down. Once they scored, the place was electric. It was electric yeah, for the game. Right. Listen, With the, listen, the display. The display I, was I'm fantastic. Not, I'm not making no excuses. Right. I'm an Arsenal supporter. I love my club. Right, Flex. but they let me down last night, and Big all time. those fans who travelled up there in their thousands yeah. on a Monday night. Yes, right. F Big up to Arsenal because they, you know, to be fair to them, they they gave every fan that came up there a free a drink. Free drink, yeah. Right to, yeah. to, to you know to thank them for 20. their support yeah. to come up there on Monday night. But the mm. players on the pitch let us down, and I date it as I said right back to the decisions that were taken in January. Yeah. Which was let's get rid of Abamyang and not replace him. I'm not mm. saying we won't have the uh, arguments about Abamyang and yeah. this, this and that, but mm. that decision's fine. But replace him. Strength in the squad. That. We needed a midfield player. Yeah. We didn't bring in a midfield player, and we've seen for about the last five six games that this squad has been threadbare, right? And they have completely run out of steam and energy, and they got bossed from start they to finish. Every mid well. we must have about. A hundred flipping free, um, um, go, um, what do they call them? Corners against us. We yeah, were back hopeless. To back, to back, we back, were back, hopeless like... in that game. Oh, Absolutely know. hopeless. We're lucky it was only two. And we're lucky it's only two, <laughs> and we got what we deserved. Yeah. And the no. top four is over. I don't, I'm not no. buying it. I know Spurs. We can say Spursy. They ain't gonna go away and lose to Norwich. <laughs> and who's to say Hopefully if we play like that, we'd even be Everton anyway. Exactly. That's the thing. We we're yeah, here Everton saying be safe. we're here saying Rubbish. that. Oh, Norwich, Norwich, if Norwich puts on a display and give their fans one last, yeah, absolutely, then amen. One but then we have off. to try and do it and against Everton, it like, might be safe, brother. This, this summer, this team, this team, the this summer, holiday, because man. whatever happens, we're going to get European football. Mm. Yeah, this summer, the owners of this club must back the manager, spend big, we spend big and give the manager, spend big. And if he doesn't get the right and proper players in. Then we need someone else. Yeah, fine. But he's because not we go. are not gonna progress with pure youngsters. The youngsters have been our starring Fantastic. bright light this season. Brilliant. But we cannot rely on them. Look at other teams. Look at look at the uh, Real Madrid. It's Benzema and Modric yeah. and these yeah. experienced yeah. world class guys. Yeah. Then they can add kids to it. Guys so like them. you yeah. saw that you saw that game when they played in the semi final. They bought on Camavinga. Yeah. yeah, who's like one of the best up and coming young players around? They bought on Rodrigo, yeah. and they got the fruits of that. A combination of, but you can't just have a team full of the, your best players are kids. They're, they're doing your some senior experience. players are average. Oh, come on, well, I wouldn't it's, say it's, average. You know what I mean? And an Arsenal football club, we've lost too many games. When you think about it, thirteen, 13 games. games. Mm. A third of our games this season we've lost. A third. That's a lot. It's shocking. Over, I it's think, nine on the road or something like that. It's Absolutely shocking. And then you sit there and want to make excuses for them things. I'm, I'm sorry. But we, but we, we, we're the referee, behind the team. The fans are behind the team. I heard them like, everyone singing Brilliant. Mikel Brilliant. Arteta songs. Yeah, They're yeah, behind yeah. the team. Yeah. But... The, the better has to be done now obviously, to obviously. push us to the next level. It's where where do we want to go? I want to see to the Arsenal top, Football the Club to the top. competing to competing, win the it. league, competing to win the Champions yeah, League. Not just in right now, up numbers. It speaks for itself when you look no, at the league. With one game a week, 
We've lost 13 games. No Europe to distract yeah. us this season. Yeah. That yeah. shows that we are a Knock million miles early. off from... where we need to go. Yeah, absolutely. And that I needs to that. be a time is running out. That has to be it addressed to be, in the summer. Well, yeah, it's simple as, and I'm not being horrible here. It has to be addressed. And I'm not being impatient. Mikel Arteta now, this is going to be third year going into fourth. Yeah. A lot of managers don't get that long. A lot sure. of managers don't get a year. It's true. Yeah, right? which is too hot. That's I heard Chelsea fans saying the other day, boy, Thomas Tuchel's on shaky yeah. ground and look what he's won. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm saying, I'm saying now, oh next God. season, you know what I mean? He deserves another season. He's got us into Europa League. Right, or Champions League. but next season he has to deliver now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I agree. I agree. I and you need, you need to change up. You need to change up and start looking at the reality of stop blaming change referees. Yeah. I will blame stop them. Blaming. I will blame them when they deserve to be blamed because we always get the we always get the blame, don't we? I'll blame them when they deserve to be blamed. We haven't even touched on that cheat game against Tottenham. I don't know what that referee was doing, but like I said in my interview, we need explanations. The referee, the F, FA, FIFA. I heard your interview. You started come, detailing play, um, players that's right. have been sent off from 2004 that's right. and, and 2008. And that's and that's right. and, I mean, okay, what kind then, of madness right. is that? Oh, all right, then. So then, can I ask right. you a question? Okay, no, no, no. Let me no, finish. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me address. No, no. Let me address Robin. Right. Okay, then. So I mentioned this season. What about when Ben Godfrey stamped on Takahiro's face? What about when MacArthur kicked Pukayo? No punishment. Are we the only team that that's happened to? Every it, team has that. It back. is for free box I, I watched it at the weekend. It is for free box I watched it at the weekend. Hold on, right? I watched it at the weekend. Burnley get a horrible decision. Absolutely terrible. Right, with a penalty. That terrible. could send them down. Yeah. yeah? Terrible. So terrible. it ain't just us. But I watched it at the weekend. Everton, who was fighting for their lives. Mm. Um, Rich Allison get his shirt literally torn Absolutely. off his back. Absolutely. It goes down the other end. Nothing. No. VAR doesn't come back to it. Absolutely. Goes down the other end. They get a player sent off in Absolutely. a game they're dominating. They end Absolutely. up losing. Absolutely. It ain't just but, us. Robbie, I agree what? with you. The referees are bad, but it's not just okay, then Arsenal. Robert, get it out of your true. head. Okay. It ain't just right, us. So, so then, Robbie. It ain't just okay. us. And I'll cut, then, right, it's then, not an agenda. They just is an crack. It is listen, absolutely the agenda. They're just, <laughs> listen, Ty, Ty, they're just rubbish. Yeah. The referees are no good. It's not an agenda. Okay. It's not just Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. Re decisions right. go against Man United. Right. Decisions go against Chelsea. Okay. Decisions All go right. against Liverpool. All right. Norwich. It's true. Um, right. Whoever. Okay, it true. ain't no good. It okay. ain't an agenda. So okay. cut it out, Okay, man. Robbie. So you, then, use this okay. As a, you use this as a tactic to not look at the reality, reality of the of situation. The yeah. Is that the team at the moment, right, we were sold short in January. And that is why now we are not going to get over the line to get to the top four. That is what annoys me. We go again in the Europa League. We go again with Mikel Arteta. I'm not saying to get him out or nothing. Right? Just back but him, we the money. have to yeah. back him in the summer. Mm -hmm. I want to start seeing this team compete. And I'm fed up of driving for six hours to see my team get absolutely battered. End of. Yeah, but okay then, Robbie. So, terrible, then, so then you're saying it's not agenda then. So then what happened with Lampard? Did Everton not get an apology? Did they not get an apology? Who's your um? Yeah, see, we see, but you're your, not listening now. And also, your... and also, Yardi, what did you, what did you, what did you want to say? Who's man of the week? What did you want to say? The question I was gonna ask you yeah, is very simple. And, and by the way, I don't agree with the small mentality thing. Uh, I, don't, cool, I, don't cool. agree, I don't agree. So I, I don't do. agree. I don't agree. It's cool. 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 It's cool went our way, mm -hmm. would you be angry at the ref? I would be saying the referee marked up. I would say No, if you're up. saying the decision went our way... Absolutely, you, I would. You would say that. Absolutely. In our invisible... You know, wait, do you know how many decisions who, went our way? Who's your, in who's your boo man of the week? Boo, boo man of the week for me. Uh, listen, uh, you know what? Big up Callum Wilson, yeah? Because he came back from a long break and... and he, listen, man, he had our defence all over the place. He had a tooth knocked out and, and still carried on with the tooth hanging. Oh, is it? Yeah, his tooth was hanging out, you know. Oh, and well, he carried if that happened on. to one of our players, he'd probably be saying that the player who'd done that should be yeah, knocked yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, if, 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 in football prison, yeah, if they've if they done it on purpose, yeah. You're damn right. Well, anyway, football prison. It's, the, it's mm. the bias show. It's still the bias show. So I'm going to give Boohoo Man of the Week to Saliba. <laughs> Yeah, Jeez, oh, William. <laughs> yes, Saliba, definitely. William, he, he, he won an award, and hopefully he yes. comes to our team 
I when he's part of our club, isn't Yeah, but hopefully we'll bring him back next season. coming back. Yeah, man, he have to. He must be looking at him thinking, boy, I don't know, should I really come back to this come back. Come back and get into the squad and, and just strength our defence, man. Night, yeah, we that. definitely could have, yeah. man. Um, um, he did at the week. Um, definitely not hard to find one. Um, I get to the Arsenal team. I'm not even going to get to the Why are you pointing at me for? I'm tired break off this week. You know Why? I mean? Pardon? You get a break this week. You break for what? Break <laughs> for what? <laughs> break for what? That Arsenal team's definitely easy. Arsenal are easy at the week, man. Would you agree? No, of course not. <laughs> Of course I wouldn't agree. Of course he's not Of course that. I would. I would never call the team. We didn't perform, but I would never call. I, there's a lot of people I would like to call idiots. It's in your hands. Yep. You know that you go to Newcastle, win yep. that game, right? You're back in the driving seat and yep. you go and put in a performance like that. Yeah, that's that disappointing. Not, if that's not a candidate try. for idiot of the week. They didn't even no. try. No. That's the problem. They did not even try. I wouldn't say we didn't try. try. The only, thing would say, only thing we would say is that Martinelli did have some good moments in the wrong? game when he came on. You don't want but he was not good didn't enough. Do anything, it wasn't good no, enough. He, didn't he do looked something. good, but it wasn't Relying good enough. Relying on kids again. Yeah, Come man. On. So for me, yeah, you have to run up and down, but yeah, they had him, it, had him sorted. Well, that's well, what I'm saying. We, we, we've got we'll no go players. Again. We'll go again next we've got no players that time. can come on and change things at the moment. There's no difference. There's no. You know what I mean? It's not even just about... Um, well, Nicholas, Nicholas. But this is what, this Nicholas is why, what? This hey, is what, he, he came on, play, he was he, terrible. But you know Pepe, what? Not, he didn't come on, he didn't have Pepe, enough time. Pepe, yeah, Pepe almost made them score a next goal up and kicked the ball straight to the man. Yeah, but he's not playing, is he? But then I'm not even going to play him why? because yeah. we bring him on at 2-0. Yes. But yeah. you know what I mean? There's no game plan. There's no, there's no, there's no sort of thing, ideas to change. Nothing. It was, it was uh, uh, man. Uh, listen, we got another competition this week, right? Um... And as I said, uh, congratulations to the winner Over. of last week's competition. No. Um, use yet. the code AFTV10, by the way, um, for the active wear. Um, you get an extra 10% off. Go or Boohoo Man wear. But um, we got another competition this week. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, uh? He said go Norwich. I said go Norwich. <laughs> we're going to be canaries. <laughs> hey, listen. We're going to be canaries listen, on, on Sunday. <laughs> it, it, it's wishful thinking, it's daydream. But if, Nor thinking. if Norwich did, I still, don't think, I, I still don't think we're good enough to go the Champions in... League. I feel like we, I, I don't think Arsenal right now is good enough to go in the Champions I've League. Been... However, if Norwich does beat, beat Tottenham and Come we on, do Norwich. beat Everton, that documentary is going to be sick. I'm ordering my, I'm ordering my Norwich stuff. I'm going to order my Norwich stuff. <laughs> if Norwich win, if Norwich win, you have to wear a Norwich hat. You next must show. be kidding. If no, Norwich are not kidding. winning that game. If Norwich win, stop you have with to wear a Norwich hat. I want, I want, stop I want, with the full I, 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 want, I won't wear Norwich hat, but I'll give big them. I don't, I, I don't know if I wear Norwich hat, but I'll big. I'll but big they're going down anyway, so not in the Premier League. So yeah, no, 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 I can't. I can't. Well, I, the hat just in I case, can only yeah? wear. I can only wear two hats. Anyway, our competition this week, right? And to enter the competition, you've got to click the link in the description, then put the answer to in the comments section, right? So we check that you've clicked the link, right? And then answer this. We know we, we, Ty's mum used to support another team, right? She now supports Arsenal. But who does Ty's brother, he's got a twin brother, <laughs> who does Ty's brother support, right? <laughs> who does Ty's I brother support, this. right? Put the answer and you've got to click the uh, onto the Boohoo Man link and let us know. Who? And remember you can get um, up to 10% off um, all of their active wear using the code AFTV10. Uh, Who does Ty's brother support? <laughs> Let us know. I didn't, right? know, about, I didn't, know, I didn't know about that. And right. uh, yeah. it's not Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, man, we've come to the end of the show. Yeah, but before, before, I'm so disappointed, man. So am I. So am I. Disgrace of me. But before I get to disgrace of the week. That's you. It's not me. First of all, I've got to say two. I'll start with a serious thing first. Um, I was hearing today, is it Calvin, Calvin Edwards won a posthumous award? You know the poor man that um, died? The one that done YouTube and all that? He no, won an no, award. Sure. Oh, you never heard about it? He's got, he, won, he won a posthumous award. You know, the, you, know, you know the one that was Chelsea that you knew? You knew he you oh, got Jamal him Edwards. Yes, yeah, sorry, Jamal. Jamal, Jamal, Jamal yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Jamal. He Jamal won a post. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, and his family collected it on his half. Sorry, sorry. Congratulations, Jamal. Jamal. A thousand apologies. So, congratulations. That's absolutely Confused fantastic. Now, I'm thinking, who is he talking about? And what? Fantastic. Um, May, you know, you know, it's only, it's only a bit of his, his, what he, what he left, you know, for a legacy. So, that's fantastic. Always, obviously, I got big up our fans because there was not even any spare seats yesterday. The long trip up to Newcastle. It was fantastic being with them, humbled, honoured, privileged, and flattered to be in the fan base. Order. So that was great last night. So disgrace of the week, unfortunately, is going to have to be another serious one. I, it's just 
terrible. And that is the fact that, obviously, you've got to be careful what I say, the alleged racism at Goodison Park directed to Ivan Tony and Rico Henry's family. Yeah, disgraceful. So, that's it. Right. Well, that's it. Um, that's it yeah. We should end of the show. Come on, Norwich. Um, We're yeah. all going to be canaries. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'm, I'm going to the Arsenal game, hoping that Arsenal could beat Everton. Yeah, hopefully. I'm not even thinking about that Tottenham Come game. Come on, Norwich. There's no chance. There is a chance. Stop. You see, there that's is a chance. you're going again. With there is a chance. A miracle. So a miracle can't happen. A miracle can happen at Anfield 89. Anything is possible. That ain't a, I'll, a yeah, I'll, I'll bring £100 in here next week, Monday. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it down and give Listen you... If, if Tottenham lose to the Norwich, money better not be fake. I give you I give you Don't bring pound. me no fake. No, I'm only kidding. I'm fake. Kidding. I give you hundred pound. I'm saying I give you hundred pound. Stop. Get that out of here. You're gonna bring what? Happen. Real money. And then no. you have to wear a yellow kit. No, no, I'm not wearing no. Full, full, the yellow boot no. man outfit. No, no. We get you a big bird. You know, you know what Sesame Street? The big oh, bird. Big up Norwich. Yes. We get you a big bird nah, nah, outfit nah, nah, for nah, you. Nah. You wearing? What are you wearing? No, because uh, you, you are support them. So you're not supporting Norwich then? What are you chatting about? Arsenal alone me support. What are you chatting about? A team I can't ever support them. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for We'll see you next week. Of course, it will be the last one. Not the last one. Last yeah, game. We continue through the summer, of course, Last one of the season. But the last one of the, the actual season. Mm. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can beat Everton and in Norwich, the last Norwich game of the season. Norwich beat Tottenham, not Thanks for watching. Don't forget Thank to you. click the link for Boohoo Man. And, uh, yeah, see you next week. Peace.